नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिद्धि योगा आई एम तारा एंड टुडे वी आर इन आवर बिगिनर योगा जर्नी डे 16 सो गेट रेडी प्रिपेयर योर योगा मैट गेट योर कंफी क्लोथ्स ऑन एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रेंड्स आवर टुडे सीक्वेंस स्टार्टिंग विद अ वॉल सपोर्ट सो प्रिपेयर योर योगा मैट क्लोजर टू द वॉल you are going to require two blocks with you if you do not have a block at home do not worry find some small size of stool or something similar which you can use instead of block you can also use the home chair the light weighted home chair you can use instead of block when we will be using the blocks i will tell you the modification you can do with your chair or the stool if you have around you to make your practice more easy and the progressive so let's start the practice after you prepare your yoga mat closer to the wall lean your back against the wall let's feel the wall first because we are going to use the wall for the support so have your palms on the wall touch the wall close your eyes and relax yourself bring your awareness to your breath feel the flow of the breath first to connect with any other thing rather than your body first you must connect to yourself it's always important you must connect to yourself first and then connect with other, any other objects you use for that stay connected to your breath feel the flow of the breath have a calming flow of the breath and feel peace in your mind your body relax as your mind connects to your body if any adjustment is needed like you wants to go uh, more closer to the wall with your feet or more further away from the wall with your feet you can do that whichever adjustment you feel or you feel needed with your for your body you can do that and now feel the connections between your body and the wall feel the touch sensation between your palms and the wall this nice beautiful wall is going to help us to grow in our yoga asana practices now slowly open your eyes maintain the connection between you and the wall keep your mind relax and focused into the practice so the practice begin with a standing from the front of the yoga mat if you are using a block have the block close to the front side of your yoga mat now when you are standing closer to your yoga mat your left shoulder is touching the wall when you look down to your feet your feet is away from the wall and stays hip with distance apart to give you steady ness into the pose stand straight and tall now from here palms together into the heart center close your eyes take two deep breath here deep inhale and deep exhale deep inhale and deep exhale Slowly open your eyes. With inhalation, raising your arms up from the front, and now with exhalation, slowly lean forward in Uttanasana. You are allowed to bend your knees if you have a tight hamstring. Now from here, bend your knees some more down, inhaling, raising your arms and coming up in chair pose. and now moving your hands down balancing on your right foot slowly moving your left leg to the back raising your arms up again we are in warrior one pose the back foot is still away from the wall your left arm should be touching the wall brush your left hands against the wall and follow the right hands to your left arm moving your shoulders down away from the ears look straight gazing in one point hold in warrior 1 feel the warrior 1 pose 
Very good. After the warrior one, move your both hands down. Your back foot is moving slightly in, straightening your front leg knee. Raise your arms up again. Inhale. With exhalation, slowly lean forward and releasing your hands down. Here, we are going to require two blocks to maintain the straight back pose. So if you do not have a block here, you can use this small size of stool and place your hands on the stool. If you do not have stool at home, you have a chair. So have your hands on the chair on the front and open your chest. So you can use different hand positions to get into the proper pose. The distance between your feet, it's about uh, two and a half to three feet should not be too wider. Otherwise, you will feel pressure in your front leg knee can be the pressure on the front leg ankle. All right, now stay. Press your front foot and sip the pressure towards your back foot. Your both feet are pressed down on the mat, rolling your thighs in, lifting your quads and kneecap up, lifting your head up, chest down, concave your back. Look straight, gauging in one point. Parshvottanasana. After the Parshvottanasana, our next pose is Parivritrikonasana. For Parivritrikonasana, look down again. And now we want to move the back foot more close to the wall to have a more better support. The right foot is also, let me show you the right foot. So from here, I'm moving my right foot also in a little bit. Don't go too close, otherwise the wall will push you down. So just have a little support with the wall. And now we are going to use one block next to the right foot. Moving the right hands to the hip. Moving the left hand outside of your right foot on the block. Push your left hands down on the block, lengthening your spine, inhaling. With exhalation, rolling your upper shoulder back. Rolling your chest up, up, up some more and look up. Then raising your right arm up, stretching your arms away from each other, your palm facing forward. Stay, hold and breathe. The wall give you the, uh, the good balance for this pose. Now you can maximize your pose. As far as the body allows, try taking yourself more and more deeper into the twist. Nice, turning your head to look down. Inhaling, moving your right hands down on the mat. Bend the front leg knee. Sip the block forward. Stepping your back leg to the front. Raising your arms and come up. Chair pose. First, exhaling, straightening your knee, leaning forward in Uttanasana. Can be half pose, can be full pose. Depends how flexible you are. And now from here, Inhaling, stretching your arms and coming up into Urdha Hastasana. Exhaling, palms together. Back to Namaste pose. Namaskar Asana. Now hands down. Now let's do the same practices other side. So we need to turn around, take the block with you. All right, so this time the right shoulder is closer to the wall. Shoulders are rolled back and down, stand straight and tall. Palms together into the heart center. Let's take two deep breaths here. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Deep breathe in. Deep breathe out. Deep breathe in. Deep breathe out. Now from here, with an elation, raising your both arms up. The exhalation slowly bending forward. So here you can use the block again or the stool you have. Back straight, you can stay in half pose with a straight knee and with the back straight position. Shoulders are down, chest open. We are in Uttanasana. After the Uttanasana, now bending your knees. 
Inhaling, raising your arms and coming up into Utkatasan, chair pose. Nice. Now from here, slowly moving your hands down. Balancing on your left, moving your right leg to the back. Inhale, raising your arms up again. Keep your right arms connected to the wall. Now brush your right arms more and more higher up towards the wall and your left arm will follow your right. Your arms are extended up but your shoulders are down away from the ears. Belly button stays in, pelvis stuck under. Look straight, gauging in one point, stay strong in warrior one. Now after the warrior one, slowly moving your hands down from the front. Now back foot is moving in slightly, straightening the front leg knee. Inhale, raising your both arms up again. With exhalation, slowly lean forward. 90 degree, then releasing your hands down. Move the block in. Again, if you do not have block, you can use a stool or chair instead of block. Just your hand position will change. If you are using a stall, your stool might be a little bit front of your foot or height might be a little bit higher. Only try to keep your back straight and equalize the pressure on your both feet, activating your base of your both feet and your thighs. This is what we want. If you have chair, your hands will be on the front of you and uh, can be the hand rest of the chair, can be top of the chair. So you can choose any position. Let's stay here, maintain the pose. Press from your front foot, sit the pressure towards your back foot. This pose will give you the preparation for the next pose. Now, head up, chest down, look forward, stay, gauging one point, hold and concave back pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now from here, you're going to require one block next to the left foot, moving the left hands on your left hip. Inhale, stretching your right arm forward. Exhale, moving your right hands next to your left foot on the block. Now, have your hips connected to the wall. Inhale, pressing your right hands against the block. Exhale, rolling your upper shoulder back. Lean your upper body closer to the wall. So your back touches the wall. And now I'm rolling my upper shoulder back. Good. Try moving your left shoulder closer to the wall and look up. Then raising your upper arm up, stretching your arms away from each other. Stay, hold and breathe. Maximize your pose. As far as the body allows, try taking yourself deeper into the pose. Enjoy the pose. After a few breaths, move your upper hands down, look down, bend the front leg knee, inhaling, shifting the back leg forward and raising your both arms up. Chair pose. Exhale, lean forward in Uttanasana as far as the body allows. Go deeper into the pose. And now inhaling, raising your arms and coming up. Raised arm pose, Urdha Hastasana. Now palms together, back to prayer pose. Now releasing your hands down. So this was the standing closed hip wall support flow. Using a wall for the flow or practicing asana, it's quite fun. It helps us to understand more about the posture positions and help us the possibilities in the body because you, we don't have to worry about the balance during the asanas. Uh, go more into the flow. We are going to perform another uh, round. It's, so let's go more deeper into the flow. We are going to perform a different flow now. So the beginning position is same. We are starting with the same position. Your right shoulder is coming closer to the wall and your left is away from the wall. Stand straight and tall. Now palms together, let's take two deep breath, deep inhale and deep exhale. Connect to your breath during the breathing, deep inhale and deep exhale. It's important for breath to be present. 
नाउ इनहेलिंग रेजिंग योर आर्म्स अप ऊर्धास्तासना एक्सेलिंग बेंडिंग फॉरवर्ड एंड यूज द ब्लॉक और स्टोल फॉर द सपोर्ट एंड नाउ इनहेलिंग बेंडिंग योर नीज रेजिंग योर आर्म्स अप exhaling from here stepping your outer leg which is your left leg to the back and then turning your left foot heel in swing your left arms to the back in warrior two pose look down and make sure your front leg heel it's aligned with the center of the back foot arms are stretched to the side shoulders are rolled back to open your shoulders some more you can turn your palm to face forward during your warrior two position when you have the wall now turning your head to look forward gazing in one point try keeping your right and the left shoulder blade closer to the wall stay and breathe nice after the warrior two move your left hands to your hips straightening your right knee inhale stretching your right arm up keep your hip is connected to the wall exhale cut your right hip in lean towards your right facing your right hands front of your right shin bone rolling your upper shoulder back and look up raising your left arm up touch the wall hold if you feel that your stunt is a longer and you are having some pressure around your knee so make the stunt smaller then your front leg knee will be more protected uh, same as your ankle very good after this pose move your upper hands back to your hip turn your head to look down bend the front leg knee next we are going to practice standing balancing asana take the block shift the block forward inhaling move the back foot in stay strong with your front foot sit the block more to the front then lift the back leg up push the back leg heel to the back foot stay flex pelvis tuck under belly button tucked in now rolling your upper shoulder back push your lower hands down on the block turning your head to look up raising your upper arm up stretching your arms away from each other hold stay in the pose and breathe we are in ardh chandrasana half moon pose after the half moon move your upper hands back to your hip bend the grounding leg knee slowly moving your lifted leg down look down inhaling stretching your left arm forward lift the back leg heel in right arm up left arm up and stepping forward in chair pose exhaling straightening your knee hands down now inhale raising your arms and come up and raised arm pose exhale palms together into the heart center let's do the same practice other side so i'm going to take the block with me we don't need two block for this practice we only require one block so having a one block here another block will be here all right so this time your left shoulder stays closer to the wall feet hip width distance apart look straight gazing in one point palms together bring the breath into the present let's take two deep breath deep inhale and deep exhale deep inhale and deep exhale now inhaling raising your arms up exhaling bending forward now if you wants to do half pose you wants to use the stool or the block you can use here and now bending your knees inhaling raising your arms and come up into chair pose exhaling moving your hands down and moving your outer leg which is your right leg to the back now turn the back foot heel in and then from here inhaling swinging your right arm to the front up and then to the side we are in warrior two pose look down and make sure your front leg heel is in line with the center of the back foot set some more as far the flexibility of your femur joint allows you can sit some more down deeper into the pose if it's 
too challenging, your knee is dropping, then make the stunt smaller. All right, now from here, hand stays open to the side, shoulder level, palm facing forward, then turning your head to look forward, gauging in one point, smile and breathe. Stay strong from your base. Now from here, moving your right hands to your hip, inhale, stretching your left arm up, straightening your left knee, exhaling, cutting your left hip in and lean towards the left. Now releasing your left hands down front of your left shin bone, inhale, lengthening your torso towards the crown of the head, exhaling, rolling your upper shoulder back. Now raising your upper arm up, stretching your arms away from each other. Stay strong from your base. As I mentioned before in triangle, if you are finding difficulty in your the front leg knee or the ankle, make your stunt smaller to feel more comfortable in the pose. After the triangle, move your upper hands back to your hip, turning your head to look down, inhale, bend the front leg knee and raising your left arm, coming up, exhaling, lean forward. Now we are going to require the block. So I'm going to shift my back foot in, shift the block to the front, more to the front, inhale, press the front foot and lift the back leg up, exhale. Your lifted leg foot should be flexed, pushing your heel to the back, push the heel to the back, rolling your left thigh out, rolling your right thigh out as well. You have a good support with the wall. So maximize your pose, rolling your upper shoulder back, push your lower hand down, inhale, exhale, raising your right arm up and turning your head to look up, hold. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Enjoy the pose here. And now slowly moving your upper hands back to your hip. Look down, bend the grounding leg knee. Slowly moving your lifted leg down, raising your left arm to come up. Exhale, left hands down. And now inhaling, stretching your right arm forward, left arm forward, step forward in chair pose. Exhaling. Lean forward into standing forward fold pose, Uttanasana. Now inhale, raising your arms and come up. And Urdha Hastasana. Exhaling palms together into Namaskarasana. And now sit down into child pose. For the child pose, your big toes are together, sit on your heels, knees are wide open. Inhale, lengthening your spine forward. Exhale, slowly walk your hands forward and going deeper into the pose. Give a nice stretch to your back, relaxing your spine, relaxing your breath, relaxing your heart. Now, inhaling, lifting your head up, slowly walk your palms in. He wants to shift the legs forward. We are going to do the rolling to massage the back to make sure the back is completely relaxed. So, hug your shin bone, inhale and exhale, rolling yourself back. Inhaling, rolling forward, exhaling, rolling back. Continue rolling front and back to massage the spine. Now lie on your back, nicely hug your legs and pulling your knee closer to your chest to stretch the back. All right, now slowly turn to the right side of the body. Take side and come up to the sitting. We are going to perform today's final pose, Ardha Matsendra Asana half lord of the fish pose. So your feet are forward like this. Then move your left foot next to your right hip and the right foot next to the left thigh. 
Your spine should be long and straight. Inhaling, raising your left arm up. Exhaling, stretching your left arm forward and then bend the elbow and hug your right leg. Pull your thigh closer to your belly, closer to your chest. Now, moving your right hands to the back. We don't have much space, so I'm gonna turn around here. Right hands to the back, fingers in cup shape. Inhaling, pushing your finger down, lifting the spine up. Exhale, pull your thigh in, rolling your chest back, rolling your right shoulder back, turning your head to look back. Stay, enjoy the twist. After the nice twist, turning your head to look forward. Inhale, raising your left arm up, right arm up. Exhale, hands down. Let's switch the side. So from here, move your feet forward. Now, right foot goes from the bottom. Now moving your left foot next to your right thigh. From here, inhale, raising your right arm up. Exhale, stretching your arm forward, bending your elbow and nicely hug your left thigh. Moving your right hands to the back, fingers in cup shape again. Inhale, push your fingers down, lifting your spine up. Exhale, pulling your thigh closer to your body, rolling your left shoulder back, turning your chest to the back, turning your head to look back. Stay, enjoy the twist. Keep breathing again. Nice, slowly turn your head to look forward. Inhale, raising your right arm up, then left arm up. Exhale, hands down. Now sit in comfortable seated pose. If it's needed, you can open your legs and shake your legs and then sit in comfortable seated position with straight back. Now hands on top of your thighs using a Jnana Mudra, which means bringing the tip of the index finger and thumb together. The rest of the fingers are gently curved. Back straight, leaning your back against the wall, close your eyes, touch the back of your head against the wall. Now bring your awareness to your breath, taking deep inhale and complete exhale, relax. Deep inhale and complete exhale release. Now palms together into the heart center. Deep breathe in one more time. And as you breathe out, gently bow your head. Bring nice smile at your heart to yourself and slowly open your eyes, raise your head up. Namaste. Thank you.